guys have heard me use the terminology. It's an exhibition game. It's a glorified practice, and and uh, I think it was. I think Guilford was excited, and we were excited too because we took so many threes early in the game. Uh, I think Steve told me 11 of our first 28 attempts were threes, and I know we had eight in the first five minutes of the game, and it can't be that. We've got to have better balance. It's not just the guards because Kennedy and Bryce were posting up about 14 feet from the basket. Uh, feel pretty good to play, do some nice things without Marcus, without Justin, without Bryce. Uh, he did come in the second half, first half. I don't know where he was, but uh, um, a lot of kids got a lot of minutes, and I think it did help us. I think getting in front of a crowd helped us. Uh, uh, Guilford, like I said, they were excited and did some good things. I thought they were making a lot of shots, and then I looked at their stats at halftime, and it was just 39%. But uh, every time we left them open, they made the shot. Those kids played hard, and I enjoyed competing against them, but we just had too many bigger players. Uh, it's more skilled. Uh, I think early, like I said, we were shooting too many threes. We weren't taking advantage of our big guys at all. Uh, I love the way we shared the basketball, 33 assists and 42 baskets. Um, had uh, uh, a lot of guys, I think four guys had at least five assists. And so there's a lot of things to like. And the staff's going to stay here tonight. It takes a long time, but we'll stay here tonight and grade the tape, and we'll practice again tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock because uh, I don't want to practice after the football game. And uh, since it's 12 noon game, we'll practice at uh, 9 o'clock, and then we'll go over and try to see if we can cheer those guys on and have a great day on the football field. You said uh, last week that Theo started participating full throttle. I guess it was around two weeks ago, around the, night, the day of late night. Uh, how much progress has he made in those two weeks? Uh, well, I think it's been gradual. I mean, I think the first week when he was only going – two practices and then one off and it was only half court, he was better. The second week he was better in that first week and on. I don't think there's been anything, one particular thing that he's done better in the last week since he was completely released. It's just that we were counting his minutes, keeping it on a stopwatch. He was out there on the court. To, he has some ability. He's got to make sure he takes care of the basketball and doesn't turn it over. I think he can be a marvelous defensive player and uh, he, he hadn't started that yet, uh, but I think he will. But uh, you know, he got a really nice offensive rebound in the second half and on the free throw and missed the shot back in. We need him to – he and Justin Jackson both got to help us more on the backboards than they've been doing in practice. Luke and Kenny got a lot of minutes today. What did you kind of see out of them in terms of their production? Well, they got a lot of minutes, but, you know, come on, guys. I mean, we had Marcus and Justin said somebody's got to play. Coach Davis doesn't have any more eligibility, and my freaking knee's hurting. So, uh, uh, Kenny and Luke, I like what they do. They're – wonderful kids and they've done some really good things for us in practice but uh, uh, again we got, had five big guys we played all five of them I think you know, maybe Luke got nine minutes I started to say all five big guys got double figures in minutes uh, but Kenny looked more comfortable than Luke did he looked down there and Luke has two turnovers in nine minutes we don't want our big guys to do that but Luke and Kenny I'm very very pleased with What's the biggest challenge in, in trying to replace Marcus? Oh, everybody's got to try, try to play even closer to their potential. We can't have any sloppiness. Uh, I mean, you know, the team we're going to play next Friday night is a different level team. And uh, everybody, we talked the other day about everybody picking their play up and doing a better job themselves, whatever job it is, regardless of how little they may think it is or how unimportant they may think it is, they've got to do a better job of that. I think Joel Berry and, and Nate, uh, Theo and Kenny, uh, uh, gave us some good minutes tonight. I do want to get Justin back out there. Uh, Marcus is going to be a little longer. If this had been a regular season game today, Justin could have played. Uh, he didn't feel well last night at the end of practice, still didn't feel well this morning. They said I could play him, but I said I'd rather just not. And uh, So I'd like to have both those guys back in there, but we'll get Justin back before we will Marcus. Well, it's only been a few days since Marcus uh, got hurt, but what have you learned? Well, you answered it yourself because it hadn't been very much time. I think we've had, uh, I can't remember what tonight he got hurt. I guess it was Tuesday night. And uh, so we've had two practices and an exhibition game. Uh, in our scrimmage against Vanderbilt, uh, I think Marcus only scored nine points. So we've, we've played without him, but he's one of the best players I've ever coached. And he's the confidence maker on the rest, I mean, on the entire team. Every kid has more confidence in him than anybody else on our squad. So it's a big loss, but it's there. And every, like I said, uh, everybody's just got to pull together. It means that uh, uh, Nate, Theo, uh, Joel, those guys are going to get more minutes, and uh, we need them to produce. What did you like about the way Joel Barry played tonight? 
He's had a good preseason. Uh, you know, other than Marcus, I'm not sure anybody's played better this preseason than Joel Berry has. And so we need him to continue doing that. Uh, uh, Nate was 9-1, and uh, Joel was 7-3. One of the times Joel just dribbled it off his leg out of bounds. Uh, Joel has shot the ball well. This uh, He's worked hard in the offseason on the shot. Uh, so he's had a good preseason. Anybody else? I'm doing, doing something on the, the new shot clock. Uh -huh. I guess we've had a couple of uh, exhibition games with it. How do you like it so far? How do you see it affecting things? And how often do you guys practice? I think it's a very, very, very little factor from 35 to 30. It would have been fine with me if it had gone to 24, 25. Um, I don't think it's uh, – to me, it's not that big a deal. Uh, to me, I think the bigger change is five second, doing away with the five second closely guarded rule because you saw one guy out there tonight just dribble the ball, dribble the ball, dribble the ball. I didn't like that rule change, but uh, you know, everybody's got their own opinion. But I don't think going from 35 to 30 would be a very big emphasis. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.